I chose Columbus State because of the convenience, the location, the cost, and just an easy way for me to get into the college lifestyle. I chose Columbus State when life got in the way and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do for school. Columbus State helped me get in the right direction. I chose Columbus State for the diversity. It gives a lot of opportunities to everyone of all kinds of backgrounds, so I really appreciate that. It overcame all of my expectations. I feel like I I am able to succeed here. It's a great financial decision. Being a first generation college student, neither of my older siblings went to college either. But I would also say that the support that Columbus State offers through different offices like student issue support and student advocacy and financial stability, it's those one-on-one -on -one experiences that can really honestly change someone's life. I chose Columbus State because I felt like it was the right place for like a second chance. Whether it's a laptop, whether it's the Mid-Ohio market, whether it's the counseling services that we offer here. To reduce some of those burdens at any degree, I think is, is just, it's game changing. Columbus State is amazing because a lot of the faculty actually have direct connections into the workforce. All my professors at Columbus State have been nothing but wonderful to me. They've taken me under their wing and changed me into an entrepreneur that I'm proud to be. As a working parent, I found that Columbus State to be an experience and an investment that was necessary for me to level up. What really drives me is showing my teenage daughter that no matter what age you start, you can always begin again. I knew that if I could see past all of the obstacles, I was halfway there. So to encourage someone, don't give up because if you can see that light, you're almost there. Columbus State Community College has the ability to open doors and the multitude of resources available to you as a graduate are unlimited. For everyone that supported me here at Columbus State, I just want to say thank you. Without your help, I don't know if I would be here today. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.
Good morning. Welcome to the Columbus State Community College Autumn Semester Commencement, the 204th graduation ceremony for Columbus State Community College. It's a great day to celebrate with our graduates, their family, and friends. I'm pleased to introduce Army Reserve Sergeant First Class Cecile Williams, who will lead us in the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in and gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. Columbus State Community College is governed by a board of nine trustees appointed by the governor. They are committed to serving the mission of Columbus State and dedicate themselves to this work without compensation. We're joined today by trustees Kareen Berger, Sandy Doyle Ahern, Stephanie Green, Terry Meldrum, Jerome Revish, and Rick Ritzler. Also on stage today are Columbus State Foundation Board of Directors members, Jonathan Moody, Julie Holbein, and Rich Rosen. Please stand to be recognized. Also on stage today is Columbus State's great leadership team. Well, our vice presidents, deans, and administrators, please stand to be recognized. Leading the procession, carrying the college banners, are Eric Agard, instructor in engineering technology, and Rachel Romain, professor of biological and physical sciences. Please join me in recognizing our processional marshals today. <laughs> Seated on stage behind me are the leaders that you know best, our distinguished faculty, no one takes your success more seriously or personally than our faculty. They work to change lives every day and they do it one student at a time. Would the great Columbus State faculty please stand and be recognized. I would like to note that all of the graduates wearing gold honor cords have earned their degrees with distinction, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. Congratulations on your remarkable achievements. Will the honor graduates please stand and be recognized? In order to recognize our military veterans, we provided each of them with a ceremonial red, white, and blue honor cord. It's similar to the formal military aguilette, 
which is worn around the shoulder. These cords signify their service to our country. In addition, each veteran graduate will be presented with a challenge coin. It's a tradition dating back to World War I. Today, the challenge coin is popular in all branches of the military to recognize special achievement. In this case, we're recognizing their degree completion as they begin the next mission in their lives. Military veterans, we're so grateful for your service. Please stand at this time and allow us to show our appreciation. <laughs> Commencement is always my favorite day. The opportunity to join you and your families to celebrate this life-changing accomplishment is one of the reasons I love my job as much as I do. I know how hard you worked, and I know it hasn't been easy for many of you, but believe me when I tell you, it's more than worth it. Congratulations to each of you. We hate to see you go, but we love seeing you walk across the stage. Columbus State is the front door to the American dream. For nearly 60 years, students have started or restarted their lives with a degree from Columbus State. And now each of you continues that tradition, joining the ranks of Columbus State alumni. Each graduate has a unique story. They are transformative stories of hope and perseverance. Many of you have balanced one or more jobs, family responsibilities, and other competing priorities with your academic workload. You've shown determination, courage, talent, and a work ethic that will serve you wherever you go. I'd like to share a few stories of your fellow graduates who demonstrate the kind of achievement and determination that this class exemplifies. At first, I'd like to recognize Indra Dungil. Columbus State is the most diverse institution, higher education institution in Central Ohio, and that diversity is made richer by students who, like Indra, immigrated to our country. Indra was a Bhutanese refugee living under very difficult circumstances in a refugee camp before he was able to immigrate to the United States 10 years ago. Today, Indra will receive an Associate of Applied Science in Heating, Ventilating, and Air Conditioning Technology, and is excited for the opportunity to be in a career in the HVAC industry, an industry he set his sights on shortly after arriving to the United States. Indra wrote that, um, graduated from college will allow him to take care of his family. He expressed tremendous gratitude for his professors, classmates, and family members, particularly his wife, whose care and support of his family was critical to his ability to focus on school. Finally, he shared his gratitude for his father, who, Indra wrote, lost his property and spent a hard life in the refugee camps for the sake of our freedom and education. Congratulations, Indra, to you and your family. We're so glad you chose Columbus State. <laughs> Thousands of students each year begin working on their college degrees while in high school, thanks to our College Credit Plus program, which allows students to take college courses while still in high school. Camille Marie Pogum is one of those students. She came to Columbus State in 2019 with some of her college credits already in place and qualified for the Choose Ohio First Scholarship, which covered all of her tuition and fees. Camille Marie came to Columbus State determined to stay active, both in and out of the classroom. After joining the Women's Connection, STEM Club, and the Mentorship Program, she started a Columbus State chapter of Girls Who Code, so that in her words, other women in technology could have, could have a safe space to relate learn, and encourage each other as they navigate the IT industry. Camille earns her Associate of Science in Software Development today and plans to complete a year-long Tech Start program at Liberty Mutual before transferring to the U University of Cincinnati to work on a bachelor's degree. Camille Marie, congratulations. Some students take College Credit Plus even further. That's what Sarab Hamad did. She took her first Columbus Day class when she was in the seventh grade. 
She gradu graduates today with an Associate of Arts degree just one month after turning 16. Yeah. Big achievement at an early age runs in Sarab's family, and she was determined to walk in the footsteps of her older siblings, both of whom are among the youngest known Columbus State graduates. Her sister, Danya, and her brother, David, both graduated a few years ago when they were just 15 years old. Sarab will transfer to Ohio State in January, where she will enter as a junior to study biochemistry, pre-med, with the hopes of becoming an anesthesiologist. Sarab, I have no doubt you'll achieve this goal and many others you target in the coming years. Congratulations. <laughs> Among our military graduates today is Shanira Terry. Shanira first enrolled in 2017 when she was in her early 20s. She initially worked three jobs to help pay for school. During the pandemic, she enlisted in the Army earning tuition assistance that made it possible for her to focus on school and graduate more quick, quickly than she would have otherwise. As a specialist in the Army, Shanira plans to use her Associate of Arts degree to build a military career and begin work on a bachelor's degree in criminology on the path to becoming an Army law officer. But there's more to the story. Shanira is currently stationed in Germany in order to graduate, she finished up her coursework online. However, not wanting to miss this special occasion, she flew this week from Germany to Columbus to walk in today's commencement. Shanira, thank you for your service and congratulations. We're really glad you're here. Finally, I'd like to share a little bit about Nikki Chin. As a former foster youth, Nikki qualified for state financial support provided to students who age out of the foster care system. After enrolling at the college, Nikki joined the Columbus State Scholar Network, a program designed to assist former foster youth and students who have experienced kinship care or adoption to provide mentorship and community support as they navigate college. But Nikki didn't content herself with simply navigating college. She became active in many student organizations, including TRIO, the Women's Connection, Student Ambassador Leadership Program, I think some of them are up there, and the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Nikki says she never felt a greater sense of love and community than she has at Columbus State. She plans to pursue bachelor's and master's degree in social work at Ohio State after receiving her Associate of Applied Science and social work and human services today. And receiving that degree on this stage will be extra special for her. When she graduated from high school, Nikki didn't have the chance to cross the stage. The staff at her group home were not able to take her to commencement. This time she wrote, I get to go across that stage. <laughs> Nikki, you've waited long enough. We're glad you're here. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to reintroduce Board of Trustees Chair Kareen Berger, who will introduce our guest speaker today. Thank you, President Harrison. It is an honor to be here today representing Columbus State's Board of Trustees, and it is a distinct pleasure to introduce today's featured speaker, Dr. Frederick Burtley. Dr. Bertley is the president and CEO of the Center of Science and Industry, better known to Central Ohioans as COSI, which is ranked America's number one science museum by USA Today. Dr. Bertley is a scientist and scholar, a promoter of critical and innovative thinking, and a passionate believer in the importance of science literacy and the need for widely accessible STEM education. Dr. Bertley is a graduate of McGill University where he studied physiology, mathematics, and the history of science and earned a PhD in immunology. 
He worked internationally in preventive medicine and basic vaccines in Haiti, the Sudan, and the Canadian Arctic, and his educational and scientific portfolio includes collaborative work in Egypt, Paraguay, Senegal, and the Caribbean. As part of his continued interest in communicating science to a wide audience, Dr. Bertley is the host of the primetime television show QED with Dr. B in partnership with WOSU Public Media. He is also featured in the animated online series Dr. B in 3. He is a great friend and frequent visitor to Columbus State delivering the keynote address just a month ago at the college's We Are STEM event, which drew hundreds of area high school students interested in science and STEM careers. We're very grateful to have him here today. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Frederick Bertley. Good morning, President Harrison, Chair Berger, Board of Trustees, Cabinet members, faculty, family, friends, and most importantly, the Columbus State 204th graduating class. <clears throat> when Dr. Harrison asked me to be the commencement speaker for this great institution, I was humbled as an unparalleled honor for me to be here with you today in this capacity. In thinking about my remarks today, there were many directions I could go. And reflecting on all the options, I decided that I will pull from my West African ancestry and go Grio. A Grio is an ancient storyteller that leverages the oral tradition. And in the words of my African ancestors, and as the title track and Notorious B.I.G.'s classic second album states, I got a story to tell. <laughs> a little more than 60 years ago, a band of educators met with aspiring students in a room in a Columbus City school called Central High. Yes, the same Central High that is now COSI, for which I have the honor and privilege of being the president and CEO. The school within those hallowed halls became the Columbus Area Technician School in 1963 then changed to Columbus Technical Institute in 1965, and in 1987 was renamed to today's title, Your Columbus State Community College. <clears throat> Thank you for that one crap. <laughs> <laughs> the college grew from only 67 students in 1963 to its current enrollment of over 27,000 students. And despite this impressive growth from its very humble beginnings, the incredible institution stuck to its founding principles, a promise for democratic access to a college education. And oh, how Columbus State fulfilled that promise. The college understands the importance and right for anyone, actually everyone, to have access to education, enlightenment, and a chance for a prosperous life. And when I say everyone, I mean it. This democratization of higher education and ensuring all are welcome is a gift, and no institution does it better. Lest you think this is hyperbole, here are the facts. There are 195 countries in the world, and Columbus State has students from over 130 different countries. This makes your Columbus State This literally makes your Columbus State one of the most diverse educational institutions, not just in this country, but in the world. And sure, today, this is in vogue, you know, or popular, it's popular to talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Well, Columbus State wrote the guidebook on this and has been practicing diversity, equity, and inclusion in its acceptance policy for more than half a century, providing people of all walks of life 
an opportunity for educational equity, and a preparation for the pursuit of a fulfilling future. You see, this rich history and commitment to human elevation is why we are here today, to celebrate the amazing graduates and citizens of this venerable institution. That's right, we're here to congratulate each and every one of you. For while each of your stories are truly unique, collectively, they are a triumphant testimony to the power of dedication, determination, and drive. Your stories are many and marvelous. They include the story of Bashara Hijazin, who grinded through a tough honors program, but is better for it, as he is now at Ohio State University studying towards a bachelor's degree in psychology. These stories include Amanda Stricker, who was told that if they didn't go to college right after high school, their future was doomed, and they would never amount to anything. Amanda is now 31 years old and crushing it as an honor STEM IST scholar, thrilled about what their career as a software engineer will be. You heard about Sirab Hamad, but I gotta say it again. The president stole my thunder, but this is thunder we can throw twice. <laughs> this young lady at the age of 16, as you heard, has the honor of being the youngest graduate. And you heard about how she's going to OSU and hopefully becoming a doctor, which we don't doubt. But most importantly, 10 years from now, when Dr. Sarab Hamad is healing our loved ones as a medical doctor, it's Columbus State that catalyzes this opportunity. <laughs> These are just some of the incredible narratives that each of you have. Own these stories and in a true griot fashion, share them as they are inspirational and transformational. Indeed, your graduating class is very special. It's made up of over 1,400 students, individuals ranging from 16 years old to mid-60s. Your class of 2022 represents an incredible 51 different majors, from social work to science, communication to culinary, arts to accounting, and I see you. I see you in the front row. I know your accounting degree. <laughs> and marketing to management. You all represent an incredible spectrum of possibilities and opportunities in our magnificent world. Some of you are parents, grandparents, full-time employees, part-time employees, local students, global students. Truly a diverse, robust representation of our beautiful human family. You have worked dil diligently, sweated, grinded, and made it through. And as you all sit here, understand that you've achieved this in one of the most challenging times in recent world history. There's an ancient Chinese proverb that says, you should be so lucky to live in interesting times. Well, times are sure darn interesting. <laughs> we have a crazy political landscape, social media is out of control, climate change is a thing, <clears throat> supply chain issues make everything expensive, bullying is real, and by the way, at all ages, and there exist pockets of increasing hate and intolerance. Oh, and most importantly, you have all accomplished this during an unimaginable, debilitating, persisting, painful pandemic, limiting our capacity to live normal lives. All of these things were happening, but you all stuck to your North Star, forged forward, and made it through. And while trying to stay caught up on Game of Thrones, Ozark, and White Lotus, <laughs> wow, you really pulled through. We hear these themes in common communications like grit, resilience, perseverance, authenticity. These words that aggregate often offer a promise of what humanity can be. These words now have true meaning because you all have breathed life into them. Now you did have some help along the way. President Harrison mentioned so. A recognition of the great faculty, administrative staff, and support structure at Columbus State was there to help you through. But a very special shout out to the family members, the moms, dads, husbands, wives, partners, grandparents, children, and friends. All of you played a role in ensuring that your loved one made it here today. So graduates, as you look to the future, despite some of the aforementioned challenges, there is some good news. History is on our side. 
as over the last 100 years, we've made tremendous progress as a civilization. For example, we have cured two types of cancers and eradicated smallpox and polio from the planet. We have produced electric cars, harnessed solar energy, developed GPS, and created a, mon a modern day digital library of Alexandria called Google. We have created desktops, laptops, and miniaturized computers to be Star Trek-like communication devices, allowing us to be in contact instantly with anyone around the world. We put a person on the moon, and in 2026, we're going back through the Artemis program, where NASA will land the first woman and person of color on the closest night sky object. And in this great country, We've even selected and elected a black president and the first black and female vice president showing every child, regardless of color or status, the power and promise of dreams. And of course, as a scientist who studies immunology, I have to mention that through the enterprise of science and discovery, we've created vaccines and medicines that have helped us control the COVID pandemic that crippled us for oh too long. So to be sure, there is a bright future ahead. But graduates, please take stock of today. This moment, right now. Enjoy it and bask in it. Be proud of what you have achieved. And most of all, know that the path through Columbus State will anchor you to your promising future. So in closing, I applaud you for your diligence and commitment. Regardless of your next steps, I know President Harrison and the entire Columbus State community could not be more proud of your accomplishments. The degree you received today is powerful, transformative, and everlasting. And it's a stepping stone to the next degree, next job, or next journey upon which you find yourself. And know for certain that whatever it is you choose to pursue, Columbus State has prepared you. And finally, know this. You are all no longer future graduates. Graduates, you are our future. So with that, congratulations to the Columbus State graduating class of 2022. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Dr. Bertley. Uh, I'd like to ask you and Chair Berger to join me at the podium. Dr. Burley has a tremendous track record in scientific accomplishment and has done a tremendous amount in science and technology over his career. And it, but as we looked at his background, we noticed that there was something missing. And that was an associate degree from Columbus State. And that's something we can fix. <laughs> the awarding of an honorary associate degree doesn't qualify as a tradition at Columbus State because it isn't something we do as a matter of routine graduation ceremonies. When we choose to do it, it usually serves two purposes. The first is to lend further distinction to a hugely accomplished body of work and academic record, like Dr. Bertley's, that is just an associate degree shy of perfection. <laughs> the second and more important purpose is to recognize those whose leadership and service lead to great outcomes not just at a single institution, but for all in our community. And during the pandemic, Dr. Bertley's voice was as important as anybody's in our community. We're grateful for that. And so in recognition of his committed partnership, his capacity to spark imagination and ignite a love of science everywhere he goes, and his passionate dedication to ensuring equitable access to STEM education and careers, the honorary degree of Associate of Science is hereby awarded to Dr. Frederick Bertley, President and CEO of the Center of Science and Industry, given under the authority of the Columbus State Community College Board of Trustees this 16th day of December, 2022.
Now the moment you've all been waiting for. It's my great pleasure to introduce Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs and our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Marty Malaweski, who will present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, President Harrison. Will our candidates for degree please rise? <laughs> President Harrison, on behalf of the faculty of Columbus State Community College, it is my honor to present to you the candidates for the degrees Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Technical Studies, Associate of Arts, and Associate of Science. They have completed all the requirements as approved by the Board of Trustees and are deemed worthy of this distinction. Graduates, please be seated. What she said. Now, I'm sure many of you have been to events where you're asked to hold your applause until all the names have been read. This is not one of those events. This is a celebration. So feel free to do what she's doing. If you've got emotion to express about a loved one's accomplishment, we want you to do it. Feel free to express yourself. Please be respectful. Every graduate deserves to hear their name, but don't be afraid to express your joy. I would like now to introduce the Columbus State faculty and staff who will present our graduates. They are Dean Bortz, Professor of Design, Construction, and Trades, Dylan Cantor, Associate Professor of English, Dr. Royce Carpenter, Assistant Professor of Interpreter, Interpreter Education, Allison Foster, Instructor of Biological and Physical Sciences, and Rebecca Mobley, Professor of Anthropology. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science degree, Accounting, Wafa Bendali. Elise Burleson. Amanda Suzanne Eschmeyer. Elise L. Evans. Dahia Hamach. Larissa Lester. Marie A. Romero Espinal. Fatumata Salah. Cum laude. Paula Frederica Thornton. Nikki Train. Architecture. Sean Michael Loke. Lily Ata Katia. Maria Laquandra Ward. 
Elissa L. Womack. Automotive Technology, Jalisa Dominique Bowers. Sean Michael Dunn. Isaac Johnson. Ryan C. McCarthy. Darzell L. Rory Jr. Babone Silat. Carter Lee Williams. Business Management, Eric James Bonner, Jr. Almarie J. Brooks. Marquise DeJohn Edwards. Hashjar El Jarini, magna cum laude. Melissa Foster. Kimberly A. Hollis, magna cum laude. Amy L. Hewitt. Latrell Deshaun Jones. Brianna Kirk. Colin Patrick Malone, magna cum laude. Inaya Marie Miller. Valeria Salvatore. Adam Jacob Searles, magna cum laude. Richard L. Stewart. Joshua Sweet, cum laude. Katie Michelle Velasquez. John Anthony Wilson. Letitia P. Woolwine. Business Office Administration. Bluebell Joy George, cum laude. Kaylee Goodman. Civil Engineering Technology. Hainer Edward Hernandez, cum laude. Joshua Overs. Computer Science, Samson J. Afrom. <laughs> Philip T. Andrews, magna cum laude. Shalanda L. Briscoe. Paul Anthony Charles Cameron. Louis Fahim Canada, cum laude. Yes, yes, <laughs> Shahim Lamar Coates. <laughs> Samebo J. Domino. <laughs> Josiah D. Fox, summa cum laude. Jack Christopher Golden. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Gonzalez. Brandon Christian Griffiths, cum laude. Matthew Thomas Jackson, summa cum laude. 
Joseph Dorman Jeffries, summa cum laude. Jeremiah Jolly. Christopher H. Kettendorf. Alexander Nicholas Kolev. Maria Lynn. Celia Mattia, magna cum laude. Allegra Lias Umba Mwanda. Christelle Mackey Banapa. Benjamin Isaac Osborne, cum laude. Camille Marie Don Pogram. Samantha Renee Pham, cum laude. Avi Yosef Richman, magna cum laude. Zachary Allen Santee. Alexander Mark Stroh. Peter Albert Weir, cum laude. Ashton Anthony Westrick. Construction Management, James Anthony Calloway. Gabe Thomas Phillips. Elissa Lynn Quesenberry. Criminal Justice. Anna M. Kokenauer. Wyatt Carter Little. John T. Pyre, cum laude. Faith Rose Paycheck. Haley Elizabeth Wobbin, magna cum laude. Digital Design and Graphics. Sophia M. Dodd. Anna Kaili George, cum laude. Sabina Karki. Amanda Lee Marquez Posey, cum laude. Joy Nichelle Martine Bennett, cum laude. Taylor M. McKnight, cum laude. Hannah E. Penley, cum laude. Christian Alexander Peterson. Owen Joseph Staley, cum laude. Digital Photography. Ashley K. Blake, magna cum laude. Chelsea Loreen Bowden, summa cum laude. Early Childhood Development and Education. Brittany R. Bragg, cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Lynn Kleitz. Audrey Dalla. Anisha T. Smith, magna cum laude. Electromechanical Engineering Technology. 
Ali, Riyad Ali. Issam al Zuabi, cum laude. Brianna Bell. Alan D. Fala, cum laude. Kyle David Ramey, cum laude. Electronic Engineering Technology, Garrett Matthew Fink. Environmental Science, Safety and Health. Sonar Izzy Picard. Tylisha Marie Roy. Finance. Lakshay Bahola. Joshua Taylor Newsom. Sarah Renee Poor. Michael A. Taylor, summa cum laude. Celeste M. Williams, cum laude. Health Information Management Technology, Ashley Nicole Rouse. Ian M. Strickland. Jennifer Talkington, magna cum laude. Health Sciences and Multi-Skilled Health, Nerta A. Isaac. Boston A. Nixon. Mindy L. Plumador. <laughs> Rochella Elaine Thompson. <laughs> Kristen Nicole Tucker. <laughs> Carlos Agustin Carranza. Indra Dungel. <laughs> Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Michael Davies Friend, magnum cum laude, and military. Misha, ne Misha Nehemiah Long, magna cum laude. Asea Tu Ba, magna cum laude. <laughs> Brittany Bickman, hospitality management. <laughs> Cameron J. Kali. <laughs> Angela Cumberlander. Shiram Lena Esmer. Elizabeth Nicole Gould. Mary Catherine Pachito, cum laude. David Henry Shaw. Daniel Stephen Smith. <laughs> Lucinda Ubricket, cum laude. <laughs> Trisha Bailey Walton. <laughs> Jayla Marie Wollenberg, magna cum laude. Human Resource Management, 
Marlene Sara Aguilera Aguilar, cum laude. Interactive Media, Braden Scott Priest. Shane Arthur Shevlin. Damian Lee Williams, summa cum laude. Interpreter Education Program, Kaylin Donna Armstrong. Jade Monell Loveless. Bryn Mara Williams. Marketing, Abdali Ali. Alicia Isabel George. Sarah T. Sabatu. Massage Therapy Entrepreneurship, Antonia Taylor, Military. Mechanical Engineering Technology, Robert C. Ellis. Aaron Jacob Fessler, cum laude. Medical Assisting, Sandrika L. Bradley. Aliyah A. Gordon. Amina Ahmad Usan. Medical Imaging and Radiography. Hannah Adams, cum laude. Danielle Boriso, cum laude. Haley Nicole Brenneman. Mohamedo Y. Diallo, cum laude. Ilaf Homsi. Jared Taylor Justice, cum laude. Megan Smith, summa cum laude. Anna Victoria Voris, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Murray Wright, cum laude. <laughs> Medical Laboratory Technology, Fanny D. Davano. Eragi, magna cum laude. Laurel Lucille Hart, summa cum laude. Isaac Sarfo. Olivia Stock. Linda Tahir, cum laude. Semhar Baraki Welde. Multi skilled health. Lauren Amelia Beck. Nora Sebeni. Haley Rose Nimet, summa cum laude. <laughs> Double majoring in multi-skilled health and associate of science, Nahula Rachel Phillips. <laughs> Nursing. <laughs> Ma 
<laughs> Mary Opoku Ashampong. Melissa Annette Aker, cum laude. Alanda Scott Allgood. Haley McKenna Alting, cum laude. Courtney Marie Anderson. Ingrid Anderson. Katie Andrews. Mary Audrew Boahmu. Haley Renee Botwi. Magna Cum Laude. Cody Marie Bowen. Elizabeth Carol Brereton. Nathan Brooks Cum Laude. Binta Jo Boucher. Nicole Damiel Bazinski. <laughs> Megan L. Burns. <laughs> Jessica L. Calhoun. <laughs> Alexandria N. Carter, cum laude. Lona Matela. Elizabeth Jean Finley. Rukia H. Fleming. Yodit S. Gabra Christos, cum laude. Tyler M. Gilmore, magnum cum laude and military. <laughs> Lindsay R. Glass. <laughs> Ashley D. Gorby. <laughs> Rachel Spring Gerana. Mallory Hairston. Spencer Haynes. Kate E. Huffman, cum laude. Mariama S. Jalo. Brianna Lene, cum laude. Janelle More. Asiya Ali Mohammed. Joby Spencer Morris. Nadia Morris. Megan L. Porter. Bridget Marie Robinson, cum laude and military. Janetta L. Schumacher. Heather R. Schum, magna cum laude. Jean-Vin Singh, cum laude. Samantha Tarr. Jennifer Nicole Whitfield. 
Paralegal Studies, Kaylee Jill Cunningham. Maxwell Harrington. Isabella Pilar Lure. Nancy Mbongo Beast. Nof Mohammed Sali. Real Estate. Brande Christine Ambrosia Belos. Marisha Shizoba Nadi. Double majoring, Real Estate and Associate of Arts, Victoria Elizabeth Kesey. Imani Alicia Ashe Athena Yasmin Crouch. <laughs> Stephanie Patricia Porter. <laughs> Respiratory Care, Emily M. Akers. Mariah Marie Sanders. Social, Social and Human Services, Ranisha Carter. Nikki Marie Chin, cum laude. Karen Epa. <laughs> Jane Votava Hudno. <laughs> Corey Ann King, cum laude. Michelle Lee Loker. L'Oreal Keys. Anika Clark McKinney. Mujedid. Rahim Muhammad, cum laude. <laughs> Social Work and Human Services, Megan Renee Harrington. Jessica A. Jennings, cum laude. Shannon T. Savage. Sports and Exercise Science, Susan Mary Arms. Patrick L. Dillon, Military. Uh, and dual majoring in Sports and Exercise Science and Associate of Arts, John S. Lillard, Jr., cum laude and military. <laughs> Ashley Marie May. Cassandra McKnight, cum laude. Storm Eclipse Angelique Sledge, Magnum Cum Laude. <laughs> Supply Chain Management, Stacy M. Ray, Cum Laude. <laughs> Surgical Tech, Brenda Reina Ramirez.
All right, receiving an Associate of Arts, uh, Lydia Nanlin Adam Majan. Norma Alejandra Aguilera Zuniga. Roa Basim Alguri. Ian Michael Bailey. Marissa Kiana Ballard. Ray Viani Barboza. Lena Marie Bruno, summa cum laude. Chelsea E. Burchett. Jessica L. Burks. Savannah M. Burns. Abigail Rose Bouchon. Lisa Butts, cum laude. Rebecca Rose Buxton. Faiza M. Chima, cum laude. Josiah Melvin Childress. McKenna Chorak. Shikari Dushelte Clayton. Shannon Leitui Lynn Cantonio. Janae Lynn Cosby Bowen. Nicole K. Kowser. Ni Deng. Joshua Ryan Easterday, magna cum laude. Anna Maria Ebert. Ethan Wesley Fletcher. Bradley Joseph Fowler. Jaron Anita Francis. Aliyah uh, Franklin. Are you all right? Allison Lynn Frazier. Sarah Ann Fredericks. Marisol Garcia Perez. Sandra Charlotte Gardner. Brianna Marie Gaska, summa cum laude. Madison Kristen Gray, cum laude. Megan Hackman. Sarab Lafi Hamad, cum laude. Toriel Hammonds. Desiree Kyla Karan Harris. Grace Louise Hayes. Tracy Renee Hayes. Bashar Rafat Hajazim, cum laude honor scholar graduate. Brendan Shamar Hopper. Waidea J. Jabbar. <laughs> Jaden Hutchins Love. <laughs> Rojanaya Antoinette Jameson.
Continuing Associate of Arts, Rainbow Treasure Johnson. DeAndrea Jones. Eric Kidon Andre. Esmel Khan Kobo. Cum Laude. Donna Michelle Leitzel. Elvia Lopez Sanchez. Estefania Luna. Benjamin Joel Margroff. Amna Masood. Shayla McCain. Khadija Kianti Mills. Iftu Mohammed Najib Mohammed. Andrian May Mormon. Rosa Mohammed Mustafa. Shakara T. Payton. Austin Pickett, magna cum laude. Lucille Catherine Reed. Unique Monet Reed. Marinda Christina Rhodes. Carla Rios. Blessing Monet Robinson. Rachel Robinson. Emily Caitlin Rogers, magna cum laude. Fabian Alejandro Rojas. Kevin Tion Russell. Geraldo Sanchez. Raven Noel Scott. Sunit Safaya. James Sizenball Jr. Jillian Shoemaker. Morgan Aubrey Smith. Brianna June Strain. Summa cum laude. Corey Marie Strugach Turner, cum laude. Jackson Gerard Swank. Hi. Shanira Nache Terry, military. Talia Grace Martin, summa cum laude. Robert M. Urban III, magna cum laude. Amber Elaine Van Hoos. Lucy K. Webb, magna cum laude. Jalen Van Buren Williams. Rodrigo Alpariz Williams Jr., military. Gabrielle Alexis Williamson, magna cum laude. Mark Philip Wilson. 
Jacob Anthony Woods, magna cum laude, and military. Christopher Maxwell Wright. Leanne Jane Wright, cum laude. Destiny Michaela Zane. Belinda Abiabo. Receiving the jury, Associate of Science, Shahad Oday Abdullah. Azar Muhammad Arefai. Dawn Rosalia Belcher. Stacy Bohannon. Brett Marie Butcher. Aleshley Castro. Perry Chinari. Ryan Aiden Connolly. Carl Allen Copley. Amanda J. Davis. Khadija Judy. Gregory Lawrence Donaldson II, military. Elizabeth Douglas, magna cum laude. Carol Gain. Linda S. Garrison. Anna Griggs, cum laude. Deanna Acosta Grimm, magna cum laude. Asana Idrisu. Tyler Jean. Anthony Jordan, military. Raminder Carr. David Eugene Kellogg. Husni Kitana. Emma Brooke Lopez. Dylan Thomas Locke. Dimba Samba Lee. Tebark Mohammed. Karen Juliet Martinez. Zoe Elizabeth McDowell. Jacqueline Mendoza. Jaden Leanne Miller, summa cum laude. Alam Muhammad. Brett Michael Niekamp. Keenan Dion Proctor. Hilla Saleh. Abu Bakar Salim. Amber Michelle Sims, magna cum laude. Shek 
Karim So. Raquel Vazquez. Asaur Mohammed, cum laude. Amina Sufi. Alyssa Rose Wheelock. Khadija Zahur. Associate of Arts, Frederick Omandi Awur. Paralegal Studies, Purnima Biswa. Paralegal Studies, Fanta N. Tam Tambajing. Graduates, sounds good, doesn't it? Will you please rise and face the audience? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Columbus State Community College graduating classes of summer and autumn 2022. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the other side of your cap. <laughs> Becoming a college graduate is a remarkable achievement, and no one can do it alone. It requires a supportive network of family, friends, teachers, coworkers, fellow students, and others. Graduates, as we celebrate your success today, we also celebrate those whose support, encouragement, and belief made today possible for each of you. So from all of us at Columbus State, to all of you in the stands and in the community to help these students become college graduates, thank you and congratulations. Graduates, please face the stage and stand as we begin the recessional. Would the audience please remain seated until all of the graduates have marched out of the auditorium. Thank you.